Hey everyone, it's Darren from Dell. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in. I'm pumped. Today we are going to be unboxing one of our brand new Dell Pro Max Towers. This is going to be the Dell Pro Max Tower T2. And in here, uh, you are going to see the latest and greatest from an Intel Core Ultra processor architecture up to 125 watt support but we're also going to provide unlimited turbo duration so that TDP is going to be much higher. You are going to see support up to a 600 watt GPU and that's not a uh, mistake but if you think about what's happening from a power performance perspective you are going to need to provide support for some really beefy GPUs that are going to require a lot of power. Uh, you are going to see up to 128 gigs of memory support, uh, boatload of storage, and four PCIe slots, as well as uh, PSU that will go all the way up to 1500 watts. Now, if you're familiar with our, our towers in the 3000 series fixed workstation space, this Dell Pro Max Tower T2 is going to be uh, providing you with uh, some really incredible performance when you think about that 3000 series fixed workstation the Dell Pro Max tower is not going to sacrifice anything and we have grown in chassis size to bring on the new GPU support as well as that performance let's jump into the unboxing so let's cut the seal Warranty, safety, regulatory information. And sweet. So it's been configured with the K555, which is an awesome silent compact keyboard. We do have the wireless antenna. as it is external. Some mini display port to full-size display port adapters based on the GPU configured. And your standard power cord. So lots of goodies in that first box. And now, the tower itself. All right, so I've got the Dell Pro Max Tower T2 unbox on the front. You see your drive bay over there. Powered audio jack, two USB A's, and two USB Type C's. SD card if you wanted that. Check out what we've done from a thermals. Look at the additional venting on the back side. Definitely some gen-on-gen -gen enhancements, obviously, with a much bigger chassis size, as well support for those 600-watt GPUs, which is pretty crazy. So up top, you have your power supply right there, your native video ports right here. This could be an optional port down there. You have your Thunderbolt port, which is awesome to see, USB Type-C. 
This is another optional configuration. With this particular device, I did the five gig ethernet. So definitely pretty sweet, but you have different choices, whether it's video ports, HDMI, whatnot. You have down here um, four USB type A's additional, another network RJ45 jack, and then my wireless antennas right here, and then my, my GPUs. So multiple slots that you'd be able to plug in. Over here is going to be the lock slot and um, to screw that lock, you'll have a padlock ring right there. So we got the screw out. Let's take a look at the internals right now. Wow, pretty sweet. So over here, you will see the power supply, your drive bay in there. Check out the fans, a lot of airflow going through the chassis. Hot air out the back. Look at the size of that heat sink, definitely a lot of innovation went into that. You have your memory slots over here. And then for your GPU, definitely you have a lot of space. So I've got my wireless card right there. That's taking up a slot. You have your uh, GPU. And then down here you have some additional slots. So there's one, two, three, four. Definitely four slots depending on what you need to do. And then onboard storage, which is awesome to see. Right here you have definitely a ton of room, ton of airflow. This is pretty sweet. So with that, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. I greatly appreciate it. Take care.